uh, to this exciting episode, we're going to be having Caitlin Schulman, one of our preschool all-stars, give us the lowdown on how to record and edit in Canva for our preschool class videos. I'm super excited to introduce her. She's been helping a lot of our all-stars. So Caitlin, without further ado, take it over. And I'm excited to learn from you today. I'm excited to be here. I do want to do full disclosure. I looked over everybody's uh, questions and there are a few that I don't know the answer to. I am very much stuck in how I do my videos. So a lot of you asked how to record in Canva. I figured it out this morning, but it's not my forte because I like using my phone. Um, and some of you asked how to, or how long it takes to download a full 30 minute video from Canva. I'm going to say probably whatever you're downloading is going to be whatever you're, how long it's going to take. Like if I'm uploading a four minute video, it's going to take at least four minutes for it to upload. Um, so I'd say 30 and 30. Um, I use Canva to do small clips and then I combine them elsewhere on my computer just because I do certain things for certain lessons. Um, so that's my best bet for those two questions. Um, now I will share my screen. All right. Can everybody see the screen? We're all good? Okay. Um, all right. We'll go to a blank. How do I get this off my computer? Go to a blank screen. Whenever you want to make a video on Canva, you're just going to go to this regular video button. Whether you're recording in Canva or you're recording elsewhere, I am obsessed with videoing on my phone. Um, I know a lot of people use their webcams. That's fine. You can upload videos um, on your video screen once you have it on Canva. The problem that a lot of people I have talked to are running into is if you make a video longer than about seven minutes, you can't upload it. Canva has a limit to how long the video is or how big the video size is when you're uploading it to their site. So as long as your snippets are under seven minutes, I found you're fine. And then you can combine them all together, make a 30 minute video, however long you want it, and then download it that way. But you can't make a 30 minute video and then upload it to Canva to then mess around with it. Um, I know Joy had some all stars on here that showed that they make their videos in Canva to kind of get around that. Again, I don't have experience with that. I kind of messed around with it today. I made a eight and a half minute video on my phone through Canva, which I actually really do not like their app, but I tried it today um, for the video part. Anyway, on my phone currently, I can view it. If I am on my Canva on my computer, it's showing up as a five second video. So I will keep checking it out while we're on here to see if it's just a lag in downloading it. Um, but we will keep playing around with that. Okay. Um, if anyone has any questions, just let me know. I don't want to speed through and miss anything, but I do have notes that I'm following. Um, so say you want to upload a video. This is your blank screen. Let me see if I can minimize you guys. Um, when you go to uploads, you can do upload media, which means you're uploading from an external um, source, so my my camera on my on my computer or my phone. Um, if you want to record on Canva, you hit record yourself. You have to give it all the permissions to use your uh, microphone and your camera. And then there's three buttons that it will let you choose. You can do camera only, camera and screen, or screen only. I could not get it to work. I tried about five times this morning before knowing that I was coming on here. Cause again, I've never tried before and it wouldn't switch off of my screen and my camera. So I don't know if it's just a technical issue it's having this morning or if other people have had that issue. Um, so I always just go to upload media and then you pull a file off of your computer. Again, about seven minutes is your limit. Um, this is all of my uploads or you can focus on just your videos. Um, the videos that I took, these were literally from last night for my um, classes this week. The three minute and 38 second video took four minutes to upload. Um, the one minute and 22 second video took about 
two minutes to upload. So again, the upload time seems to be comparable. I had to do it ahead of time because if I try to upload while I'm on um, Zoom, it takes like 20 minutes. It's really awful. <laughs> Zoom slows everything down majorly. Um, so then you're gonna click the video that you want. It's going to put it on almost like a slideshow. And you're gonna be able to drag and see to the different points that you wanna um, stop at. And then if you want to add another video, you would click the plus button and you would just go and grab another video. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. The videos aren't fitting the full screen. So you're gonna click your video and you're gonna drag it so that it's full screen. Now, I showed, here. if you don't want, oh, now it's not gonna let me undo it really. Okay. If you don't want it to be full screen because you wanna have two videos going on at the same time, then you can drag it over and you can make it half the screen. Um, depending on what you're viewing though, it cuts off part of the uh, um, viewing area. But a trick to get around that is if you know you want to have two videos is to, when you're taking the original video, have some room on the side of your screen. Um, Cause then I could go and take another video and I could put it on top and I can say, all right guys, we're learning about numbers or rain, uh, letters, numbers, whatever. And I could have them playing a game with me while I'm over here talking. Um, so then, if I hit play, this is moving and going on as well as this is going on at the same exact time. Um, say you only wanted this video to be on there for 30 seconds of while you're talking because that's what you were referring to. You take this little drag -a do I don't know what you want to call it, and you would right click it and then you hit split page, then I can take this video off of this half and it's still gonna be playing on this half. Um, same with photos, same with text, same with everything. Anything that you want to put on your videos and not have it on the whole entire time, you're gonna need to move this little draggy and you're going to, again, right click and you're always gonna hit split page. Depending on how long you have that split, this is only 4.8 seconds. That's how long whatever I put on that page is gonna show up. And then this one's a minute and eight seconds. So you can put on something for the whole minute and eight seconds. It's up to you about how you wanna do it. For example, um, calendar time. If you're singing about days of the week, you can sing, you know, okay, I only say Monday for a second. Okay, you can have Monday pop up and only show for that second and then Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. Sorry, gotta make sure I'm following my notes. Adding videos. All right, photos, graphics, and text is all the same thing. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll tell you what that is. You can take this section of video and say, oh, I wanna switch it and I wanna move it over here. And you can just drag and drop. Um, that was not what I was trying to show though. If you want to do text, you just click on text. You can have if you have the paid version, you can have certain fonts like your branding fonts. Um, I have a paid version because I use it for other things. You don't need it. Um, you could just click change whatever font you want, um, change the size, change the color. You can say, oh, don't hit your back button. Oh, I'm just deleting things like crazy. All right, I want the text and it won't let me drag it. Thank you. Yeah, at the beginning of your video, you can have hello friends pop up. Um, make sure it's big and bold and they can read it. Um, I had a few parents, their kids were having trouble reading certain fonts depending on what I put on there. 
Um, so just be mindful of that. Um, I'm trying to think. Text. Okay, so this text is only going to show up for the 4.8 seconds because that's where I have it. Um, you can drag it anywhere you want on the screen. Um, if you want it to come in all fancy and not just be sitting there, you hit effects. Some effects you have to have the paid version for, some effects you just have for the free version. I don't think you need the paid version again. I only have it for work. Um, so you can do shadows on it, make it look all spiffy. Um, sorry, my daughter's over there. Um, that's just going to make it pop out a little bit more. If you want it to move, come in um, fancy, then you can do um, effects. Right now I have the effect fade, but usually it says effects right here. I went a little fast. Um, so you can go and make it pop in any way you want. You can slow it down. Um, it just depends on what you want. This is a lot slower. The intensity is lower. Um, this is faster. You can do that with your text, your graphics, your videos, photos, anything that you're putting on top of the video, you can change how it pops in and pops out. Um, again, because this is a 4.8 seconds, if I move my tabby, it's only going to be on there for a little bit. It'll do the effect to come in and it'll do the effect again to go out. So depending on how you want it to go out, certain effects look better than others. Um, you could do photos. You can upload your own photos or you can pull things off of Canva. Again, depending on if you have paid or if you have the free version is what you have access to. Um, so I can stick a big thing of flowers on my caterpillars. And then if I want it to come in fancy, I could change it. Ooh, I like that one. And right now that's going to be for the whole minute and second. Um, text, photos, graphics, text, animate. Ooh, delete sections of video. All right, so say, I'm gonna split this here. Say I have a part of me singing and I'm just like, oh gosh, I don't want that in there. I messed up, whatever. You, these three little dots right here, you're going to wanna to click them and you can hit delete page. Delete page is just deleting that section of video, it takes it out. Again, say I want to add, I sometimes have pop-ups of like, okay, random dancing time or something like that. You can click the plus, you're gonna hit add page. And now this is a blank page. You can add a video to it, pictures to it, text to it, anything you want. Um, so you could do, sometimes if I think I'm talking too much in my videos, I'll have, dance party. All I did was copy and paste it. Control C, Control V. And then we can animate all of these in different ways and just make it look all crazy. And then you can add, um, let's see here. Um, Okay, I don't know what this recording is, so I'm not going to just put it in there. Um, but you can drag and drop sound, and it can have something that says like random dancing or something in the background and bells and whistles. You can pull, um, you can pull audio files off of Canva as well. Um, they'll give you different ones that you can pick from. You can just do simple like piano or disco or something crazy and then you just click it and it comes down here um again the same way that you break up videos you can break up your sound it pops up for a second there you go oh. 
So I can hit split audio and then I can delete this audio so that it's only for my random dancing area. Uh, delete sections. We talked about moving sections, adding sections, join multiple videos. I believe we, I just told you how to add it at the end. Again, you wanna add a video here, you wanna add a video here. You wanna add a video all the way at the end. Anytime you wanna add something, you just hit the plus and add a page. Anytime you do that, it's gonna tell you it's five seconds long. As soon as you put a video on it, it's gonna change it to however many um, minutes or seconds that video is. If you have a page, where's our blue page? There you go. This blue page right now, their default's five seconds. If you want it to be more than five seconds, you can come up to here and you can change it. Um, that works for if you're making something. If you have a video that you uploaded, it's going to be whatever you uploaded it as. Um, and then you can always crop it and take out. And then hang on, I want to check the chats, make sure I'm not missing something. Oh, split audio again. OK, oh, make sure I don't lose you guys. So audio clip, I don't want to do advertising. Could add a ukulele song. All right, your audio clips are always going to show down here. Um, say you want to do a voiceover. I don't want to play my video for you right now because my daughter is literally just going crazy in the background, but it's fine because I was literally just showing caterpillars. Um, so I can take her out audio out or basically mute it. And then you can do a voiceover, um, which is the same thing as adding an audio clip. Um, I've always done it externally. I'm not sure if you could do it through Canva. I'm sure you can. Um, but you record yourself on your mic on your computer and then you just upload the file and it will drop it down here. Um, again, moving this little clip right here, you right click and you hit split audio. And then say, you know, I only want that the audio playing for this tiny little bit, then I can right click, oops, you can do more than one file at a time. Um, you're going to right click and you're just going to hit delete and it'll take out the rest of the audio file. Um, when this audio file got moved down, of course, now it's not going to let me do it again. You can overlap audio files. Like if I want to be talking and have music playing in the background, um, you can layer them on top of each other. It's a little too much, I think, because the kids don't know what to pay attention to. Um, let's check the chat again. How's that funny? Can you please do an actual video so you can see it? Um, actual video meaning what? How can you combine a seven minute, minute video into 30 minutes? Um, again, just keep hitting your pluses um, and adding more videos to them. If you have your seven minute and your video and your six minute video and your 30 second video, as soon as you put them on that timeline, when you go to share, you click download, and then it's gonna show you all pages. Usually for videos, you're always gonna wanna have all pages, but it's gonna show you like, this was what a five second video, this was a five second video, this is a minute and however long. It's gonna add them all together um, so usually you just always have all pages, um, and then you just hit download. MP4 is always the file. Um, I say file name, but that's not the correct terminology. <laughs> it's always the type of file that you want to download, and then you just click download. So right now my whole video is four minutes and fifty eight seconds. Um, hey, Caitlin, I have a question for you. Yes. Okay, so I think what they would love to see is if we went from scratch, let's say that it's you've re you just recorded all your videos and now you want to create a preschool class video. They would love to see your process to start from scratch to be like, okay, okay. we're going to make the video for tomorrow's lesson. Would you would you be able to walk us through that? Yeah, that is fine. Thanks. So we're going to go to Canva again. So you're going to click video, create. 
it's going to bring up a blank um, screen. You go uploads. Let's see. Oh, I don't even have anything on here. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not going to be perfect because I'm not sure what I'll have uplo uploaded on here. And like I said, when I try to upload things with Zoom, it's yeah. So <laughs> um, this is my calendar time, my beginning time. So you just click it. It pops it in there. Not sure what that lag was. Uh, make it full screen. And so right now my video is only six minutes, 50, 55 seconds. So then I'll go to the end. I'm going to hit plus. And then say at the end of this, I said, all right, I think it's time for story time. Let's go. And then here's my, that would be my transition. And then I would pop in my story time. Should have uploaded. Oh, how do I mute you? <laughs> um, so then there's a story and then say, after story time, we're gonna move on to doing our letter of the day. Do I have a letter of the day? No, I don't have. All right, so then say my transition was we're gonna do a science experiment. Then I would add uh, my science experiment on there. I can make another um, video join, send it to you so you can have it to add. No, this is awesome. I think this is exactly what they wanted to see, just the process that you walk through. It won't let me drag it down. Thanks. Okay. All right. So then, like I said, yeah, my daughter's in here. So I have my daughter and my niece. They'll do science with me. They'll do calendar with me. Any type of doing letters or numbers or certain things like that, I don't usually have them because my daughter just turned three and my niece is turning three in a couple weeks. So they're not necessarily at that spot. My daughter knows all of her letters and at least one word that goes with that. So she can do certain things, but one, you don't always want the distraction of someone else being there, but two, she's not quite at that stage. So I have them for background noise and certain things. Um, all right, we'll do science experiment and then. So let's right. ask you this, how would you remove the audio from that clip? Uh, can you scroll down and show us how to like kind of split between video and audio so you keep the video but you remove the audio if there was background noise you didn't like so <laughs> i use an external program to do that um i was trying to figure out how to do it on canva itself let's see if we could figure it out while we're on here no we just do no sound Okay, so there you go. Look at that. Um, you just simply touch the microphone button and you turn it down to zero. And then say you wanted the new audio to go over top. Again, I don't know what that is. So we're just going to go to elements. Audio file. Let's see if we could do... <laughs> Quite sure what this is, but we'll try. Um, anytime you want to add a file or add audio, you just click it, it automatically drops it. Again, this is my whole entire experiment, so I might want that audio file to be on the whole entire experiment. But if I don't, I just simply click a spot, right click, hit split audio, and then I can remove the first chunk or the second chunk, whatever I want. And then let's see what that was. There you go. <laughs> some crazy music instead um but then like i said now she's not on there talking about red and bubbles and <laughs> whatever else um, and then that audio file for what i downloaded it stops right here because that's all that there is 
you can touch the end of it. Oh, some of them let you. Usually you could touch the end of it and you can stretch it. This one's not letting me. Um, so then I can just go and add it again or switch it up and add something else. And then I'll just continue playing that sound. I don't like that there's gonna be a lag. If you see, if I click off this, this straight line, there's no music playing at the end. It's just the end of their thing and they didn't crop it right at the end of the sound. So again, oops, I wanna right click in the right spot. Right click, split audio, and I can take this little chunk out and then I can drag this and connect the two so that there's no lag between the two files. Uh, yeah, okay. So then let's see. So let's say so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish out the video. How Show them again how to download it. Okay, um, at the end, usually for my videos, I say, you know, all right, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. What goodbye song do you want to do? And I either pretend that I'm listening for their answer because I want to make it as live as possible, or I have a little jar and I'll pick out one of our goodbye songs. Um, so if I want to animate that, I can. And then if not, whatever. Um, so I just add a page. But when you're all said and done, you hit the share button. Um, a few people that I was talking to thought share meant all you can do is share it off Canva. That's not true. I can copy a link and send it to anybody I want and give them either access to edit or access to view, but that's not what you wanna do. You wanna go down to the download button. You wanna leave this as MP4 always. Um, all pages, again, if you, ah, here's an example. I have an example, okay. Say you had a video that you're using for class and you're also using that same exact content minus a few steps for YouTube for marketing. Okay, so you go to all, all pages, you'd make it all as one video. I could unclick, unclick the first page because that's usually my um, intro with my YouTube name and what's gonna be on that video. I can unclick it for my students. And then my last page, I can unclick it as well because that's usually my, hey, if you wanna see more of Miss Caitlin, go to this link and you can go view what else I'm offering. I can unclick that and then have the video with those two pages off of it um, to download for my kids. And then I could have um, all the ones clicked to download it for YouTube. Um, so again, all pages, depending on what you're doing, usually same exact thing. But if you're going to break it up for marketing and your class, then you can switch out things without having to make two separate videos. Um, then you just click download. I don't know how long it's going to take because I'm on Zoom. Yeah. Okay. If I wasn't on Zoom, this is like, I don't know. Oh, here. 14 minute and 14 second video. It would probably take about 15 minutes to download. Um, if I'm on Zoom, it usually takes three times as long. So you can get off of that. Okay. Caitlin, if you click share again, I do want to tell everybody something. Click share. And then I want everybody to know, like some of you have said, there's no way that I can download my video. It's a 30 minute video. My internet is too slow. It cancels, it pauses, it never will download the video. So what she was saying right there was if you click copy link, um, go ahead and click copy link there. Oh, yeah, just... exactly. Yeah, so go, yeah, click that, click that because it says only oh. people added versus, yeah, anyone with the link. So she would click anyone with the link. There you go. Now say copy link, uh, but not edit. Sorry. On the right hand side, you see how it says can oh, edit? We should change it. Can watch. Watch. Okay. So notice that it says link shared publicly. Anyone with the link can watch. Now she'll copy the link. And that means you can send that link to any of your preschool families, or you can put that link in your hub. Somebody was ask, asking like, where do you actually store the finished videos? I know we store them in the hub so that you can have them in your members areas. Uh, is that what you suggest doing as well? Yes, um, now that I have the hub, I would. Um, previous to having the hub, I had an external drive because otherwise it just clutters up my computer. Awesome. Okay, everyone, this is about the time where our master class is almost over. Go ahead and post in the chat any questions that you have for Caitlin um, and we'll see if we can answer them. And Caitlin, is there anything else you'd like to share? 
Well, just while you're talking about that link, I'm post pasting it in the, um, I'm just gonna say posting it in the internet. Can't think of the word now. Um, this is what they would see. They would have a Canva link at the top and they would have your video just showing up on their computer. Um, my one thing is it does look a little grainy on here. If you weren't using that link, it is a little bit better quality when you download it. Um, but it honestly isn't, isn't a big deal. I don't think that they were gonna have any problem with theirs, my face being grainy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. This was so helpful. I know everybody really enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. It looks. Yes, everybody's asking, will the recording uh, be available? Yes, it will be in YouTube. Uh, we will add the recording. So another thing she mentioned, this is really important, guys, is that when you're downloading your videos in the hub, you can, you know, upload any video. But if you're going to upload it to YouTube, you want to be real careful because you don't want to have people's, um, you know, if you shared a video that was someone else's alphabet uh, song, okay, and it was a YouTube link and you shared your screen or something like that or however it was, that's where she was saying, if you go back to that share button, uh, Caitlin, in that top right corner, and then you click download, uh, there you go. And she was mentioning that if you click the all pages, you can choose which segments, aka pages, you want to download or you want to keep off. Let's say page two was maybe you sharing your screen and it was, uh, you know, someone else's YouTube dance party. Okay. You cannot download your video and upload it to YouTube. YouTube will flag that as content that somebody else created because they can hear the audio and, uh, and match the audio sounds. And so because of that, you know, you can choose to just download a couple segments. Um, this is a great question. Tatiana has been asking, can you film your clips in Canva? And I know you addressed this in the very beginning. If you want to just quickly address that again. Um, yes, you can film. So oh, let me get off of this. I clicked off. Thank you. Um, say I wanted to add something right here and I, ooh, and I just didn't make it yet. Let me split the audio and take the audio off, please. Thank you. Okay. So then you go to upload and you'd hit record yourself. I can see if it'll, yeah, it's not gonna let me do that. Okay. Because I'm already on Zoom, it's not letting me do that anyway. But if you can see these three buttons, you can do just recording yourself on your camera. You can do camera and screen, or you can do just screen. And then you simply hit record. You do whatever you need to do and then save and exit. Mine earlier, and I'm assuming, especially because I'm on Zoom right now, it wouldn't let me click off of any of this. So again, I don't have experience doing it. However, while we're still on here, no, no, can I exit, please? Um, let's see if my video finally uploaded. I did do that same process on the Canva app, which I am completely honest about. I do not like their app, point blank, period. Um, but I tried doing recording my own video um, on my phone. Cause like I said, I like my phone camera way better than my, um, okay. than my computer camera. Daddy, See, no. All right, on my phone right now, it says that this video is eight minutes and 33 seconds. Daddy, yet on here, it's still showing us five seconds. So, so I don't know. I'll have to play around with it some more and let Daddy, you guys no, um, Let's go wash your hands. but it's not correlating. So either it still has to download, which I think is crazy at 40 minutes past. Um, or you can only view what you make in the app, which is again, crazy. Cause I don't know how else you would download it or do anything else to it. Okay, so we're going to take about two more minutes for rapid fire q and I'm going to ask these and we're going to see a quick answer from you. Uh, my question to you is with your phone, um, if you are actually, how do you record using your phone? Now, don't talk us through the tech, but like, you know, are you propping it up on a tripod? Are you holding it? Um, so everybody can visualize what it looks like to record using your phone. Okay, I can show you what I have set up upstairs. Um, I have two huge lights that I use for photography. And then I have my phone on a, a ring light. Uh, like a tripod holder. Yes, yeah. I do not use the ring light whatsoever because it reflects on anything that I have laminated. So it's just not a good light. So I use different sources, but that's the stand that I use. I also have one that clicks on my table that I can bend down 
when I'm doing any type of writing. Awesome. And is there green screen capabilities Tatiana is asking in Canva? I don't know about in Canva. Um, green screen, usually you have to download a green screen um, program for your computer so that it knows any type of green is, off, is automatically nothing and you can fill it in. I don't think Canva would have that. That's so beautiful. You have your hands all washed. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So everyone, thank you so much uh, for sharing. Caitlin, this was awesome. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording for just a second here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Lydia, Tia, go ahead and um, unmute. What was shared in your breakout room or what do you want to share with us? Okay, so it was amazing. Please keep doing the breakout rooms. It was so good to meet these um, three ladies. So um, I had Lisa Renrick, Tiffany Angel, and Miss Bobette. So Miss um, Lisa shared with us that she created um, her book in Canva. It's a coloring book, and she has it listed on Amazon. So that was amazing to know and realize that, hey, we can create stuff in Canva um, and we can actually upload it. So it's like joy. I mean, you're giving us so much gold here. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Lisa, congrats for your book. That's amazing. Thanks for sharing that. Um, Rose, go ahead. Rose, you can go ahead and unmute. Hi everyone. So our breakout room was amazing. Um, we 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 asked, you know, where is everyone located, preschool, um, local or online, and we networked, and we really just used the time to see how we can help everyone. And I do believe Miss um, Kita was with us. So and she had, Kita had um, done online for two years already with another organization. So that was a really great resource to have. Um, I'm planning on putting my online preschool on Groupon Merchant. I had a merchant account for a couple of years, so I, I gave that information out. It was amazing. I am so happy and thrilled. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. I love the networking. I love that you guys were able to uh, connect with your all-stars. That's beautiful. Uh, anybody else want to share what happened in your breakout room? Bring that gold back to all of us. Uh, go ahead and raise your hand here. Tiffany, go ahead. Um, I can't remember who was saying it. I think it was the one that wrote the book, but she was saying that you could automate or not automate, animate um, the pictures when you do a book in Canva, which I thought was really cool. I have to play with it and see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Lisa, if you want to share how to do that, you can even share your screen, Lisa Renrick, if that was you. So awesome. Anyone else want to share your breakout rooms? Go ahead and raise your hand. This is cool. Uh, sharing some of the takeaways. Abiyomi is going to register for Pro Canva. Uh, Beth's going to do one of her books in Canva. Uh, Lisa's going to finish her storybook and create more children's books. Amanda's going to implement the short video. Uh, this is awesome. Deborah learned something new. Sharice is going to use it for her promo videos and for her local. That's awesome. Yes, Lori, definitely. Um, Caitlin helped see helped this to seem more manageable and not difficult. Okay, I don't know who this is, but I M E C virtual learning. Go ahead and unmute. And what did you take away? Hello. So I kind of came in at the end of it. I am Lakeisha. I think on Facebook it has me as Lakeisha Haskins um, yes. on, on my virtual Zoom because I pay for it, so I want to use it. <laughs> yeah. um, anyways, so I was telling the ladies in my group that I I was just telling them some of the different things that I use my Canva for. I haven't done recording with it, but um, we have our daycare. I teach virtual. I am one of the providers that you had on your podcast that I teach in my daycare live, and I have other daycares that I teach virtually in while I have my kids in session. And so I was telling the ladies about that and telling them how lucrative that is because we do have some programs that are paying like 800 a month for us to come into their programs or to virtually come into their programs for about two hours a week and work with their kids um, creating the lesson plans and things like that I write curriculums 
I do all of that in Canva. I design shirts and all kinds of other um, daycare swag in my Canva. And my oldest daughter runs our drama club. And so we have journals and t-shirts that we give to each of the students. And I was telling the ladies in our group that we design our journals in Canva. And so each kid gets their journals. Um, we create them and then we send them off to be printed. And it costs me maybe about five or six bucks oh, that's awesome. to do it. And then we turn around and we obviously you upsell because you need to make a profit. And that is all of our goals to have fun, but to be able to live. And so we, you know, have our registration fees and things like that, that are about 75 to 80 bucks, depending on what program. And then it may cost me like 20 bucks to make everything that I need to make to include in that, which is their journal, their kit, their um, t-shirts and their resumes. And so I was just telling them that I wanted to share that with the other ladies. Oh, absolutely. Lakeisha, thank you so much for that gold. That was awesome. You're welcome. You rock. Okay. Anyone else want to share? We have another minute here. Go ahead and raise your hand in Zoom so we can call on you to share the gold that was shared in your takeout, in your breakout room. This was super helpful. So I hope everyone uh, was able to benefit from this awesome meeting with Caitlin Schulman, one of our preschool all-stars. And if you are just joining on, welcome. I'm so glad that you enjoyed this meeting and um, post in the, the comments, you know, what you were able to take away. And uh, we'll be doing these monthly masterclasses every single month. So I am excited for our next speaker too.